Today I'm breaking in my new welder. I'm gonna be welding on these collectors, ball joint collector, I mean, ball and socket collector. Again, these work much better than the regular um, header gasket um, type collector. These have no gaskets. They never ever leak. Just finishing up my side pipes on my van. This is my old welder. I had to cut off the phone with um, the manufacturer to find out what the hell's going on. Oh, and uh, just wondering what welder I'm going to be using today. I'm going to be breaking in my brand new Miller Multimatic. 215. Never used one of these machines before, so I guess it's like starting all over again. I turned, turned it on, pulled the trigger, and I was wondering what the hell is wrong with this thing. Pull the trigger. Look how slow the wire comes out. And then it accelerates. Apparently, after getting off the phone with Miller, to find out what the hell, that's perfectly normal. But they also said that if I didn't like it, I can go into the menu on this machine by pressing the negative on the wire rod uh, tungsten and material thickness. And upon doing so, it'll give me a um, menu where I can uh, go to run in and I guess click disable. Right now I'm using 035 wire and uh, I'm welding 14 gauge steel and I'm running 7525 CO2 argon. If I was running 100% uh, CO2, it'd be on 100 uh, C100. Okay, and now I'm, I'm trying to figure out what's going on with this tip because for some reason, Miller saw fit just to send me two 030 uh, uh, tips. So I'm probably going to have to swap out this tip to run the, the 35 or swap out the 035 wire for the 030 wire, which, you know, whatever, you know, got to do what you got to do. I've already got it all decorated up with my decals. I bought this new welding cart for it as well. And I really like the welding cart for one specific reason. It had these uh, tank holding uh, rods, which are solid core, which is really nice. But which is uh, not nice is, is a standard uh, CO2 argon tank. They don't fit. The circumference of this loops are too narrow. So if you're going to buy this cart thinking you're going to run two tanks, you know, so you can run your your TIG welder and your MIG welder, because this will this will do TIG and MIG and stick welding, you're not going to be able to get the two tanks side by side. I had to spread the opening in order to make the tank fit. And as you can see, it's overlapping here. So, I mean, I guess I could probably make it work if I was to... Try and close it. There's a little bit of a gap here. But they should have engineered this better from the get-go, you know, so I wouldn't have to bother with this, especially paying as much money as I did for this cart. <laughs> kind of ridiculous.
But anyway, I'm going to get this thing set up for the nozzle to try and use the uh, 035. I like it. I like it. Wow. I really, really like it. Wow. Wow. All I can say is wow. I keep saying wow. This welder is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. It is so much better than that welder. And that's a great welder. But, um, wow, man, this, this is fantastic. Guys, if you're looking for a welder and you got the money, buy this welder. You will not regret it. If you're a novice welder, buy this welder. You will not regret it. This welder is, uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's basically a cheat tool. For those who do not know how to weld, I'm not the greatest welder. I'm going to freely admit that. I am not that great. But holy crap, man. I don't think a professional welder can do much better than that. Yeah, I'm going to hear all kinds of feedback in the comment section for that one. But wow, I mean, look at that. It's like the machine, it, it, it does all the work for you. Basically... If you come over here and look at the, at the little display, you can see how it's got a little, like a target icon in the center. And you can move that to the left, to the right, if you want to increase the voltage for whatever reason. But this machine does everything for you. You just set it to where you get that target and you're on target for the metal thickness that you're welding. Wire speed, same thing. It's got the same little target. You can increase it or you can decrease it, but the machine does all the work for you. It sets the exact recommended position uh, for the wire feed speed. It's just, it's just an incredible little machine compared to that dinosaur. I mean, that machine, I bought that machine, I think it was back in uh, like 2000 and 2005 maybe? But, but the difference between this machine and that machine is, is night and day. See, this machine, you can dial in your wire speed somewhat right here. And uh, this is for uh, stitch welding. But when it comes to temperature control, there's nothing in between. You, 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 know, you just have to figure out which one is going to work better for you. But... Um, this machine, you can you can pinpoint precisely where you want to be. This is this is a fantastic machine. Uh, I I yeah I, I can't I have no complaints with it, none whatsoever. I thought at first, well, that little delay when the wire comes out. See how it comes out slow. I thought that was going to be an issue. You know, so I was I, that's why I, I was going to I was going to uh, disable that. But uh, no, I'm not going to disable that. I'm not gonna, there, there's no reason to disable it because, because wow, I mean, it works phenomenally. It, it's, you know, I, well, well, I don't know if it'll show up good on the, uh, on my cell phone here. But this thing is just, is wow. Let me, I'm going to prep that one. I got to sand the, the paint off and I'll put my other collector on and then I'll weld it for you so you can see what I'm talking about. One second. Got it all ready for, I uh, got the paint off, I got it all ready for welding.
And then I blew a little hole in right there, but um, was e easily able to just tack it closed. Like okay, I so said, guys, I'm a novice welder. I do not do this professionally, obviously. But man, I've I've gone, I've been working in the car industry for many many years, decades now, and I've gone to some exhaust shops that have done uh, some welding work for me, where it was incredibly disgusting, shitty, most horrible work you've ever seen in your life. And they called themselves professional. This, by that standard, this is the, this is a professional weld. I mean, this is just incredible how well this machine works. Um, I guess I just got it. This is my second weld. I haven't had time to really play around with this thing yet. But um, boy, so far, first impressions. Th this is this isn't a five star, you know, ten star rating here. This thing is just fantastic. Uh, I'm not affiliated with Miller at all. I'm not getting paid. I bought this machine with my own money. So, uh, you know, take this review for what it's worth. Um, you know, I know not everybody's got uh, the money for this type of setup, but uh, boy, if you do have the money for it, yeah, this, this, this is a uh, non-hesitation buy, man. Go, go out and get it. I highly recommend this machine. And also, if you're looking for a pretty decent uh, weld welding helmet to go along with it, and again, I'm not affiliated with these guys. In fact, I'm not even sure what the hell you call this. What is this? Welding Helmet Pro Yes Welder. Yeah, that's what it is, Yes Welder. This thing works really great. Plus, it also has a... Uh, for, for not, not a prescription, but um, magnifying uh, glass that you can remove. It doesn't come with that. You have to buy that separately, but it's only like $2.50. This is a uh, plus two, I believe, is what I bought. But um, it's got the peripheral on both sides, and it works great. I got, I got no complaints about this thing either. I mean, it would be nice if I can get it. And I and I just this is as new as this machine, so uh, I know it has settings on it. But when you strike a weld, it, it it's a little dark on the dark side. I'd like to go a little bit lighter so I can see better what I'm doing. Um, I I may not have gone through that one spot there had I been able to see a little better. But look at that! Look at that weld. And this thin shit, it's difficult to weld without going through. And if I wanted to, oh, well also, I'm using 035. If I was using 030 wire, it would probably not have gone through. But I had this spool left over from that machine. Oh, one other thing, I don't know if it'll pick it up on, on, on the um, video here. This wire has actually got starting to get a little bit of rust build up on it. And when they do that, the wire does not work as well because it's got this rust contaminant. You can see a little spot there and there. Some of this stuff is a little bit larger than, than the rest, but um, that's not good either. And if I wanted, like I said, I, you know, because I'm using 035, I could turn it down slightly and see what that does, but it takes it off the bullseye. See, they, the bullseye is set at 16.3, period. That's it. If I go to 16.2, the bullseye disappears. If I go to 16.4, it disappears. So I know the machine is functioning optimally. But wow, I, 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 guys, I can't say enough. I'm totally impressed with this welder. But anyway, uh, that's my review for the day. Wow. <laughs> great, great, great machine.
I would buy it again tomorrow. <laughs> this thing is just fantastic. Anyhow, thanks for watching. If you got anything from this, um, give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Thumbs up. It's uh, clicking that thumbs up button is just as almost as satisfying as clicking that skip commercial button. And um, subscribe too. I got this van. I'm putting all kinds of cool updates on it. Uh, right now, I'm doing the uh, side pipe exhaust install. Um, and that's uh, another video. So if you want, you know, check that out too. Rebuilt the whole suspension on it. I installed uh, these C3 Corvette Stingray mirrors. I got rid of the, the large uh, dime size holes that were here from the previous factory mirror. Repainted the door and I do everything myself. Like I said, I've been working on cars for oh, almost uh, 40, almost, yeah, 39 years now. Almost 40 years. Anyway, guys, uh, again, thanks. Appreciate it. Have a good day. Okay, one final touch to make my Miller Multimatic 215 perfect. Just moving it on here. Fully decorated now. Now it's perfect.